In this video, I'll be going over five scientifically proven ways to boost your testosterone levels. So let's talk about why testosterone levels are incredibly important for your general well-being. Okay, you see, testosterone is an androgen hormone that's incredibly important for the development of the masculine traits that we associate with manliness. So test levels are directly correlated with increased libido, which means you're able to actually get your wood up when the time demands it, increase muscle mass, you'll be able to pack on more muscle on your frame and look good at the beach. Increased bone density, right? Some studies have shown that testosterone plays an important role in having a strong bone density. Decreased chance of Alzheimer's disease. Various studies have shown that low levels of testosterone are linked with Alzheimer's. So if you don't want to start forgetting shit, you better have your test levels on lock. Studies have also indicated that low levels of testosterone may be linked to depression. Many sufferers of depression have low test levels, and when they're put on programs such as TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, their mood changes. Their whole demeanor changes and they feel better. Now, researchers have noted that the average American man's test levels have plummeted over the past 30 years. They've gone down worse than Simpsons ratings. Now, this could be due to a, a range of things from dietary choices to the sedentary behavior of most guys. But you don't have to be another casualty. I'm going to give you five tips to skyrocket your test levels so that you can prosper. Let's get into it. Tip number five, exercise and lift weights. Men who exercise frequently are often associated with having higher test levels. Resistance training, especially using weights, has been noted to be the most effective method for building test levels up in the short term as well as the long term. So if you want to boost your levels up, you got to get on a good strength training program. That means doing big compound multi-jointed movements such as squats and deadlifts. No more chickening out. You got to train those legs. For beginners, I suggest doing strong lifts or even starting strengths by Mark Ripito. Now, high intensity interval training is usually the best option in terms of cardio. High intensity interval training is training which involves repeated bouts of high intensity work and is often followed up by a little bit of a rest period. So I'm talking about hitting a bag for bursts of 60 seconds, jumping rope, doing some hill sprints real quick, barber complexes, anything that's a bit more taxing and a bit more intense. Don't just walk on the treadmill all day if you want to get these test levels up. Okay, number four, you got to minimize your stress and cortisol levels. Long-term stress, whether it's from your boss just not giving you a break, or maybe the unpaid bills that have been lying around the counter for a couple weeks now, or your nagging girlfriend, these increase your cortisol levels. Now, high cortisol levels are devastating for test levels. Picture hormones as kind of like a seesaw. One goes up, that one comes down. One goes down, that one comes up. So you must do all that's within your power to ensure that your cortisol levels are lowered. Now, some things that you can do to relieve stress are meditation. Now, this has been scientifically proven just about a million times now to lower stress. It's not even up for discussion anymore. Deep breathing, or as Elliot Hulse likes to call it, breathing into your bowls. Now, deep breathing counteracts the effects of stress by slowing the heart rate and lowering the blood pressure, psychologist Judith Tutin has said. Keep away from excessive use of stimulants. Maybe it's not the best idea to have your usual 10 cups of coffee a day. Maybe it's not the best idea to have your three cans of energy drinks per day. I don't know. You tell me. But keep away from that crap and get those levels up. Okay, number three. Eat more fat. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? You've always been told to keep away from fat. Yet dietary fat plays an important role in optimizing your natural testosterone levels. A study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology found that diets with higher amounts of manusaturated and saturated fats have been shown to increase testosterone levels. There is a point of diminishing returns, however. An appropriate level of dietary fat for testosterone production should fall somewhere in the ballpark of uh, 25 to 40% of your daily calories. Play around with these numbers a bit and see what works for you. Now, a good place to start to get some fat or some good foods are avocados. Now, avocados are my personal favorite. They're so goddamn yummy. Almonds, they're good too. Peanut butter, olive oil, egg yolk. That's right, eat the yolk. Don't listen to this bullshizzle about not eating it. Eat the yolk if you want them test levels to skyrocket. 
Okay, number two is to increase the zinc in your diet. Now, the mineral zinc has been known to produce a favorable environment for test production. If your levels are low, you might be suffering from a zinc deficiency. Now, zinc can easily be supplemented by pills, but I recommend that you first go to real foods to get your zinc. Some good foods are proteins, rich proteins, fish, oysters, crabs, just generally a lot of seafoods good for zinc. All right, the last tip I have for you is to get more sleep. Now, this one should be a no-brainer. Make sure you're getting the proper amount of sleep and you're not walking around like a freaking zombie. A lack of sleep has been shown to be detrimental to testosterone production. Research at the University of Chicago recorded the sleeping patterns of healthy men and found that the subject's testosterone levels increased the longer they slept. Seven to nine hours was known to be the best in order to optimize test response. An important note is that the quality of sleep should be just as important as the quantity. To ensure that you're getting adequate sleep at night, I suggest you do the following. Have a calm down period where you deload and get away from high stimulus materials such as television and internet and notifications and you know social media. Tim Ferriss suggests that reading a fiction book before bed is an easy way to ease the mind. Don't drink too much water before you go to bed. You're going to be getting up every three minutes and taking a leak. It's not good. It's going to interrupt your sleep. And use a white noise machine or binaural beats if you want to get to sleep quicker. So those are the five ways in which you can boost your testosterone levels. Your test is one of the most important hormones in your body. If you want to live the good life, it is your responsibility that you take care of it and maintain it as high as you can can just remember if you are waking up in the morning with some oak wood then there's probably something wrong and there's more work that needs to be done all right guys until next time peace so this is the end of the video you must have really liked it if you got this far yeah am i right yeah i'm right okay if you liked it please click subscribe and hit the post notifications because youtube is doing this weird thing right now where if you subscribe it doesn't even show you my videos very strange very strange stuff but yeah click those post notifications well good till next time